What's up, everybody? So I specialize in working with people who have been convicted of violent crimes. And a question that I get pretty often is, how do you de-escalate someone? So in this video, I'm going to give you three quick keys on how you can de-escalate just about anyone. So stay tuned. So when people are angry, it's scary. It can be really scary to be around someone who's out of control. And when people seem to be out of control, the question becomes, how do we de-escalate that person? And I have three quick steps for you to follow. The first step, and now I really want you to follow me on this, is to validate that person. What do I mean? Here's what I mean. By validating someone, you are simply acknowledging how that person feels. In other words, if the person is fired up, angry, you're acknowledging that. Hey, you seem really fired up right now. Listen, depending on your vocabulary, your vernacular, and how you want to say it, that's all on you. But how it comes across is that it needs to be about validation. It needs to be about recognition of how the other person feels. Look. People might be right or wrong for their actions, but nobody is right or wrong for how he or she feels. So if someone is angry, they have a right to be angry. If, if, if people feel hurt or sad or mad or glad or happy or whatever they feel, they have a right to that. So when someone's out of control, they have a right to feel that way. Now, we wanna to try to help them regain control so the first step is to validate them. Validate how someone feels no matter where they are. Now, I wanna take this a step further because oftentimes people believe that validating someone means, oh, hey, wow, you seem really fired up and that's enough. That's not enough. We don't validate someone until we think they've been validated. We need to validate others until they actually feel validated. And here's how we can tell if someone feels validated. When someone's angry and fired up, they're emotional. It's a visceral, it's a physical reaction. But when the person feels validated as though he or she has finally been heard, then ah, there's a release. And when you see that release, then you can move on to step two. Step two in de-escalating someone is to help people find options. In other words, there's always a choice. In everything we do, we always have a choice. And someone who's out of control still has a choice to act however he or she wants to act. But what we want to do is help that person explore what those options are. In other words, once we validated that person and once that person feels like Oh, all right, okay, I feel heard, I feel understood. Now we can explore options. There are options. Look, you can do that thing, which is that out of control thing that you were impulsively thinking about doing, and that is an option, but let's explore the consequences of that option. Now, once we explore that consequence of that option, which again, that's viable choice because that's what that person was obviously feeling and thinking. Once we explore that, now we can move on to other options. Now you could do that or we could step back. We could walk away. We could think about something else. And that's when we can start to pull in our ideas. You see, when we're really heated up, we only see things in a very uh, narrow-minded way. But when we step back, we can see a bigger picture. So when someone's fired up, they're very singularly focused on whatever it is that they're angry about. We have a macro vision, right? They have a micro vision. We have a macro vision of the situation because we're not emotionally involved. So we can help them explore a wider range of options. And again, if the person feels heard, then he or she is much more open to actually listening to those options. And once you validate someone, once you help that person explore options, you're ready to move on to step three. Step three, now follow me on this. You might want to most important step you can do, it's allow for choice. In other words, people always have a choice in anything that they're gonna do. 
So you recognizing their freedom of choice and you genuinely and heartfelt give them a chance to say, hey, listen, whatever you choose is on you, okay? I'm here with you, but whatever choice you make, that is your choice and I respect your free will. So we're validating the person, we're helping them find other choices and then ultimately we're letting go. We're respecting their free will. And if you've ever been around someone who truly accepts you, who truly, genuinely, unconditionally accepts you for whatever choice you make, one of the things that you'll notice or one of the things you have noticed if you've, been, if you've ever been around that is you have no desire to fight for your position anymore because this person is going to accept you no matter what. So now you don't have to fight to defend whatever irrational position you had. Now you are free to really explore the more effective, healthier, more compassionate, more rational choices. And when you can do that, now you're in a better spot to not only be de-escalated yourself, but to be able to make the best possible choices. So from the flip side, from the person who is de-escalating, from you, the person who tuned into this video on how to de-escalate someone, what you're doing is you're making a person feel emotionally safe enough to be able to say, look, I'm a human being. Yes, how I felt was super out of control. Maybe some of the things I've said or done are, are really just inappropriate and wrong, but now I can't change the past and I am here in this moment. And so now the question is, what can I do from this moment forward to truly de-escalate someone? You validate them. You help them figure out other options and then you provide a safe enough emotional space that you respect their free will to choose whatever they're going to choose. And I promise you when you do steps one and two, step three provides a whole different outlook than what would have happened had you not done the first two steps. This is one of the most effective ways you can de-escalate someone in any situation. Regardless of whatever you're dealing with, I'm certainly sending you much peace. Hey, if you like this video, hit subscribe, hit like, and share this video with a friend. Maybe 10, maybe 15, maybe 100,000 of your closest internet friends. The more you share, the more you care, the more we all can spread peace. Visit drchristianconti.com for more.